So what was your reaction to Dr Carl's talk and the challenge of change? The IGR is a necessity because you always need to take a snapshot or pause and have a look at where you're at. It's time that Australians embrace their decision-making ability of where to go in the future. Thinking about Dr Carl's talk, how did it leave you feeling? Excited and scared is how I felt after seeing the talk. It was good to be presented with the challenges ahead because I think sometimes Australia as a country is quite relaxed. Mm -hmm. We don't like thinking big picture. We like to think small picture. Dr Carl's talk mentions three big economic and social challenges that we face as a country. What do you think of these challenges? I definitely think that the ageing population we need to start thinking a bit more carefully about. I think we're aware of it. I don't think we are admitting the seriousness enough. What ideas do you have for what needs to change and what needs to happen? With the ageing population, it's an interesting one. Actually, I did some calculations. What if I imposed a three-day week? But the retirement age was 80, 85. And guess what? If you look at days in your life worked, if you work three days a week until you're 85, you work more days than if you work five days a week until you're 65, which in the end is more tax dollar, you know, there's more productivity happening. Which of these challenges means most to you personally, as a professional and as a person? Personally, for me, it's infrastructure. I've always really appreciated the Australian health system, education, all these things. We've been leaders for many years and I think we have to keep our eye on the ball. What would you like Australians in the future to say about this generation now? In 40 years time, I'd love Australians to look back and go, wow, that old generation of Australians really had the guts to embrace their genius.